Hi guys, it's Harvey from All Hearts Pool and Spa. Today we're going to talk a little bit about helping you guys read a chart on a pool pump curve. Okay, these charts do mean a lot, and I just want to, and I'll go in this deeper. So watch my YouTubes. We're going to go in this deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, but I want to show everybody how to read the chart, and then we're going to backtrack and help you calculate what this chart means. All right? So it's a little backward thing. So if you want to know more, email me your questions, and we'll start a private school, you know, per se, on blogs. But anyway, this is helpful little tip on reading a pump curve, a pool pump curve. And what you got is this is this is Pentair, okay? Now everybody's pump is different, so you gotta look at the curve, okay? There's a thing, air blowers have a curve, everything had on an air air blower it's just called a static curve, okay? Because it, when it sucks so much air, um, it's a static curve. And this is a basically um, a suction curve. Uh, push curve, but there's all kinds of curves, and there's half horsepower, three quarter one. But I want to go over this, and everybody gets confused. Well, Harvey, I don't have my pool pump 80 feet in the air, so my half horsepower pump is going to do, it's going to max out at 60 gallons a minute. No. What you need to calculate, guys, and this is where it gets tricky. You have to calculate all your pipe, know exactly how many 90s, how many 45s you have in the line. Okay? So, argument's sake, you're 50 feet away from your pool to your pump, and you could be at 110 feet real easily between your suction and you have to figure in some more for your filter and your eyeballs and everything else like that. Everything's a factor. So this is um, head of feet, okay? So again, it's the pump is not 80 feet up in the air. You have to calculate all your piping. So if you have a pre-existing pool, you could have um, 1090s that you don't know about, and you could have extra 15 feet. Okay, so this is where this comes into play. All right, this is a big thing. Everybody thinks, well, I only got my pool pump 10 foot in the air, so. Um, you know, I should be able to pump out six gallons a minute real easy. No. Okay. We're not, well, let's say, no, let me backtrack. If I had, if I had 10 feet above, okay, we're at 10 feet, we're roughly at 75 gallons a minute. This is where you need to calculate when you're doing your pool. It's very critical that you are doing your pump you filter, and then you also have, if you have a heater in line, you have to figure out the needs of that heater. All right. I went before and talked about what flows to heaters. So, say argument's sake, we had a 400,000 BTU stay right heater, and we had, say, I don't know, 90 feet of head. Um, okay, would a half horsepower pump do minimum, when everything's perfect, 40 gallons a minute? That's minimum, guys. That's minimum. So you go, okay, I got 90 feet ahead. Well, Harvey, there's nothing for half horsepower. So we know half horsepower's out already, out of the game, okay? So 90 feet and we want to do 90 feet, and we want to do, say, when everything's perfect, six, uh, 40 gallons minimum, 
well, one horsepower doesn't look too bad. But then you have to go and say, okay, what happens when my sand filter starts clogging where a lot of times I see cartridge filters too small and they start clogging up and your flow rate goes all the way down to here and you're burning up the heaters. So we're going to talk a little bit, like I said, not to repeat myself, about reading this uh, chart. And again, this is for Pentair. This is for one of their pumps, and it's called a curve. So you need to calculate all your piping, all your elbows, and everything else like that, and figure out your head. Now, if you go say, Harvey, well, I don't know my head pressure, and I want to do the right thing, what can I do? Well, keep in mind a couple of things. Inch and a half pipe can do X amount of water flow. My other YouTube showed you what inch and a half pipe can do. All right, there's a couple other things you can do. If you have a vacuum gauge and you have a pressure gauge, you can calculate your head, what your system does now. With your sand filter or filter being clean and everything being ideally, you put a vacuum gauge on your pump and you put a pressure gauge on your pump, okay? and you can calculate what your total head is. So we can get into that if you guys want to talk about that. We can start doing little education classes. But I wanted to start talking about this. It's not, well, and I hear it all the time. I can't express it enough. Well, I got it basically on the ground, so it's zero worth a head. So I am capable of all the water in the world, Harvey. I can half horsepower pump, I can do almost 80 gallons a minute. No. Okay? Everything has to be calculated. Just a little helpful tip. It's raining out. I'm getting kind of bored. Um, I like training. I um, like using my mind. So email me your questions. If you like this little blurb, email me your questions, and we'll do a little training seminars. Maybe once a week, we'll, you know, I'll, I'll do your seminar, what you would like to do. Email me your questions at harveyallparts at gmail.com and we'll start doing some education classes and uh, get you guys where you need to be. Again, I'm Harvey, All Parts Pool and Spa. Take care. And everybody knows, safety, safety, safety. Pool chemistry, pool chemistry, pool chemistry, and then enjoy the summer. Bye, guys.